Hi there, Indie Warriors. Literary Rose here with I Dream of Indie, here to talk to you about floppy nights on the PC. Floppy Nights is a single-player deck-building strategy game developed and published by Rose City Games. You play an inventor named Phoebe and her bionic AI arm Carlton, battling foes as you travel the world and get that sweet, sweet cash. But the story progresses into mysterious woods and you find out that your Floppy Knight technology has been stolen. Technology and magic coexist in this world, and our protagonist has found a way to fuse both through her floppy nights, creatures you obtain to fight your way through encounters. And it's definitely not a euphemism, although that is definitely what I first thought of. The gameplay is unlike anything I've ever seen before. You have turns for your team in the opposition, like a typical turn-based strategy game, but instead of set attacks like your magic attack, your attack attack, etc. You have cards at your disposal, and it is also based on the look of the draw. Or planning if you take the time to build a strong deck, unlike me. You change the cards in your hand during each turn, which can result in some game-saving card pools, or highlight your ineptitude at balancing your floppy knights and their abilities. And by your ineptitude, I mean me. I have to admit, it feels kind of dumb just looking at the visuals. You think, oh, it's so cute, it's just like a child's game. Mur, 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 mur. But I actually found Floppy Nights challenging, sometimes frustratingly so. There were certain encounters and challenges that seemed designed to be beat in very particular ways. And my brain was not up for this. So far, I've played Floppy Nights for about 15 hours, and I'm still just halfway through the game. Although with a caveat that I had to restart my gameplay completely due to frame rate issues. The developers stated early on that there would be a day one patch, which has been released, and I believe is what allowed me to go back to the game with a good frame rate and actually continue past a certain point in which I just became completely frozen and I could not go past. Although, even with this improvement, I did notice that my frame rate dipped quite a bit, specifically during the area where it's the invention competition. Currently, Floppy Nights is available on Steam for the PC as well as on the Xbox. Box. I do hope the developers are able to bring this title over to the Switch because with the lighthearted dialogue, cartoon art style, and pick up and play nature of the game, I could see this title doing fabulously on the console. Most of my gameplay post the game breaking frame rate issues was with a mouse. Although my first game session was completely through controller. The controller port works without issue, but I personally find a mouse is better suited for a card strategy game. The settings and accessibility options are, unfortunately, fairly limited. More limited than I'm used to seeing. You can adjust the music, the effects, and you can turn rumble on and off. In terms of the map and navigation, there won't be any issues. Floppy Knight has a very clear map where you are able to see your starting area to the very last area, they're all immediately visible, but you're only able to go to the next one that's been unlocked so far once you've cleared a particular area. As I mentioned earlier, this game has a cartoon art style that I found very amusing and overall enjoyable. The artist behind this hand-drawn style is Marlo Dobb, excuse me if I said that incorrectly, and she's best known for her work on Dicey Dungeons. You play from a 2D fixed perspective, which makes sense for the genre. Overall, the game is lovely to look at and filled with fun colors, playful designs, it's all just a treat for your eyes to feast upon. Especially the animations of Carlton's face, the bionic arm. They have these exaggerated cartoon reactions that just had me grinning. For sound design, Graham Nesbitt, again, excuse me for any issues, is behind the retro and lively tunes you will be listening to. They were nice. Although, I did get tired of hearing the intro music to a new battle after a while, but that could be personal taste. It does the job, and it does it well. So, what do I think of Floppy Nights? It's well made, besides the framerate issues that seem to have been patched out. It's lighthearted and playful, and there's a good amount of challenge. It's just not a title that I personally will think about for much longer than this review.
Thank you so much for supporting clickbait free content here at I Dream of Indie. We would now like to take a moment to shout out our brave indie warriors and legends that help make this channel possible. At the Indie Warriors tier, we have Bill, Christian Cruz, Adriana Amato, CJR, PSC, Julian Colbus, Jesse, Ray Lynn, Marky Mint, Dave Hart, Peekaboo, Lex Noyle, Strick9, and Chic Geek. At the Indie Legends tier, we have Jen Rose, Larkison, Mitchell Hall, Peach, Skeptism, C Coil, Nathan Moore, Chris Jackson, Mr. W, Blue Francis 14, The Beefarinis, Business Cody, Carmen Red, Jace Glover, King of the Hatch, and Ophidian Mind. Thank you so much for everything that you do for independent developers, publishers, and for I Dream of Indie. Head on down to the description box below. Let's defeat the gaming echo chamber and bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming.